Welcome to the channel. This is Rashid. Today we will start physical design uh, stage of the digital IC design. And in this video, I will give you the overview of it. So we will not go into too much details, just different stages and different steps. It's quite possible that you don't get everything. But the goal is just to give you a higher level picture first, higher level purpose of different stages. And then after that, we will get into details of each in uh, the following videos so very first thing um, what is the job of physical design overall in in these videos I mean physical design a design that goes through physical design can be very complex and can have so many aspects of it so in order to simplify things in the beginning and I'm a big fan of um, simple things life is already too much complicated so what we do is we assume that this is not a this is a design that we just flat um, run everything through synthesis place and route so what is flat what is hierarchical that is something we will go in detail to but i'm just assuming it doesn't mean that there's only one hierarchy like in system very log you can have a module which is can be instantiated and then another module which can be instantiated in another module right you can do that but you know in the the difference between flat and hierarchical is in hierarchical you just finish at one block one level then you go to the next level and you pull the finished block because if you do the entire design in one go it's just too big okay so we are assuming it's not too big it's can through the physical design tool and through all verifications tool we can easily just just have to take one design so a small medium design okay so that that's the first component and gradually we will add we will add hierarchical components to it and see how that complicates our implementation and verification so overall if you are thinking of a system um these days um a chip is um, yeah every die i feel that is a system on chip and these days we have multiple dies in a package so maybe i should say that these days is a time for system on a package but what we are considering is just one die there okay and each die typically has a lot of components in it so I, that's why I'm calling it a system. That's a separate definition whether it has a CPU on it or not, and then you call it a system. But just it's a number of different systems are on that chip, a no, number of different blocks are on, a, on that chip that combine together um, to serve a particular system. So we call it a system overall. So what we have here in our design, we will have a larger component of it written in an RTL like a system very log okay so we will have a bigger portion of the design in RTL uh, that design that we cannot um, create a layout with hands so generally I didn't mention here and, and I forgot but generally if you look at um, you have within even digital design you have very small design few transistors and which you can create a schematic um, and then you can create a layout of those yourself you can place them you can route them you have full control over that okay but the the problem is when you are dealing with bigger designs and um, that doing a custom way is just not possible that doesn't mean the custom way is not done Custom is done, but for a very small design. And what I mentioned here is we have a we will have a pretty large design, and there will be a lot of digital logic in it, and that will come in the form of a, an RTL, a system very log. But in our overall system, we will have memories, and memories is not something we will synthesize them or through take them through physical design. They're already finished block. Then we might have some analog blocks like PLL or others. Those blocks are also separately done and finished and we are pulling them into our SOC. We will have some digital blocks, purely digital like a clock dividers or some other thing that 
somebody finish it with in a custom way and we will pull those two and we might have some pretty large designs um, like a PCI controller, USB controller, a memory controller or those type of designs or a certain accelerator which are not our expertise. We took them from another company. Another company has done a physical design on them but they have given us a finished design. So those are what we call IPs. So your chip will have all these components, your own RTL, okay, and then all these, or it could be that you don't have your own RTL and you're just integrating everything together with a little bit of glue logic. So still you can think of that, but there will be some logic between different IPs, so you have some top level, your unique thing that you're adding. So, but more or less, do you will have a, this component. Typically in a design we have Okay, these are already finished design. I was. Um, it depends on the application. I, I I don't think it's it's easy to say. I can say it. How much typically is analog versus digital? There's a majority of it is is digital. Very small portion is analog. Even though that small portion is super important, but generally you can have a mix of this. And I assuming we have these things in our design, so which we want to take through. Uh, building the layout of the entire chip okay so which means uh, we already have some of our design RTL which definitely need to be converted into layout but we will convert the pull the layout components of all the things and then bring everything together so physical design is really creating a top level layout of the entire design and the final thing, very final database is called the output of the physical design is a verified GDS. So physical design has implementation stages which create a synthesis, a place, and I will talk about those. Uh, but it also has a lot of verification steps or stages that you need to verify on that on the design that you're building. And when it meets the final GDS database, that it meets the all the specs and is verified thoroughly then you send that database to a mask shop it creates mask and then it send it to the fab that is the purpose of physical design you got that then we look into different components of um, of of the uh, physical design and I wanted not to clutter this diagram but then I started adding things it this picture I mean, I can create a very simple picture, but the thing is, things are so much related to each other that it's very important for to to put some of those references. Again, it's not possible to put everything here. So anyway, I think I want to make um, shorter videos, um, a five minute video. So let's restrict today's videos to a higher level purpose of physical design. In the next level, we will look quickly into different stages of the physical design. I'll talk about those. So another 5-10 minutes will be there. All right. Hope that was good. See you in the next video.